Warren Buffett is on the phone with Biden administration. The sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank on March 10 caused the most serious crisis of confidence in banks since the great financial crisis of 2008, which devastated the global economy and threatened to bring the financial system to its knees. The California bank had bet on interest rate by investing in high quality bonds. The problem was that SVB bought these bonds and mortgage backed securities when interest rates were low and did not protect itself in the event that rates rose. Now, the bank simply did not hedge its risk. When the Federal Reserve began raising interest rates from the second half of 2021, the bank's bond began to lose value. This problem coincided with the fact that SVB's client, mostly startups and venture capital firm, could no longer easily find cash to finance their operations and projects, as was the case during the pandemic, a period during which the Federal Reserve or the Federal Government had printed money in large quantities. These startups consequently started to dip into the deposits. SVB had no choice but to sell part of its bond portfolio and other securities to satisfy this withdrawal request. As a result, the bank had to suffer a net loss of $1.8 billion during their sales and therefore needed to raise $2.25 billion to show up its liquidity. Now, let's look at some extraordinary measures. Now, this announcement frightened its uh, customers and caused a run on the bank. Since then, investors have uh, feared a contagion saying that other banks may have made the same mistake as SVB. The crisis of confidence mainly affects regional banks and, is, and has moved to Europe around Credit Suisse a bank rocked by scandal for the last few years. The regulators had to intervene urgently to avoid a disaster. They had to shut down SVB and unveil a plan to guarantee all depositors in the bank, even those with a deposit exceeding $250,000, the regulator relieving that the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation guarantees. Besides the extraordinary new measures, the Fed has also created a backstop to lend money of up to one year lend to banks, saving associations, credit unions, and other eligible depositor institutions pledging U.S. Treasuries agents to debt mortgage-backed securities and other qualifying assets as collateral. This asset will be accepted at par value, which means at their original value regardless of the rise in interest rate in recent months, which has reduced the value of long-term bonds purchased when rates were low. In summary, the Fed does not want uh, financial institutions to find themselves in a situation where they are forced to sell their bonds at a big loss. But these measures were not enough to restore confidence, especially since the regulators had to shut down another bank, Signature Bank, in New York. Now, will Buffett invest in regional banks? The Biden administration is pursuing unconventional measures to help banks that continue to let down investors. The federal government does not want to directly bail out the banks after the backlash caused by the use of taxpayer money to help the banks into in 2008. Now enters Warren Buffett. The White House is currently in contact with a legendary and highly respected investor, according to Bloomberg News. There have been several conversations between the Biden team and the billionaire. Now, this discussion revolve around a possible investment of Buffett and regional banks, the investor has also given advice to the White House on the management of the current crisis. Buffett has been called upon to help banks in the past. During the financial crisis of 2008, the investor granted, through his hold in Berkshire Hathaway, a $5 billion lifeline to Goldman Sachs to prevent it from experiencing the same fate as uh, Lehman Brothers, which had just filed for bankruptcy. In 2001, Buffett also injected funds into Bank of America, whose shares plunged due to large losses related to subprime mortgages, which were the origin of the financial crisis of 2008.